There was a lot of, I guess, hope that something was going to happen where you are this weekend. But what happened? Well, you're right. There was there were a lot of expectations that I think the U.S. and China could finally get over some of these tensions that have been plaguing the relationship. The Shangri-La dialogue is basically an annual uh, meeting of defense uh, officials and defense experts that takes place here in Singapore, somewhat neutral ground in Asia. And uh, Secretary Lloyd Austin is flying in. His counterpart from China, Li Shangfu, was flying in. Uh, they will likely still be in the same room at times, um, but it doesn't sound like, from what we're hearing, that they'll get a chance to meet. And I think um, for U.S. officials in particular, I think they're going to be very frustrated about the inability uh, they've had to just establish basic contact. I don't think they're looking to have a big negotiation and make some kind of a deal. I just think they, they're, they've been trying to get channels of communication reopened find a way to deal with the other side when there is a crisis or a spike in tension. Yeah, China says that uh, Li Shangfu wouldn't be on an equal footing with Lloyd Austin uh, while those sanctions are hovering over him. But uh, this failure to meet, uh, what are the risks involved in this? Well, I think, you know, what the what, from the U.S. side, their frustration has been that, for instance, when, the, when that alleged uh, spy balloon was floating over the United States and got shot down, they feel like it's important to be able to just talk to the other side and, and say what your intentions are and say, you know, try to explain your side of the argument. That hasn't been possible. I think their concern is if there's some other peak in tensions, whether it's over Taiwan or the South China Sea or even just a military accident, that they have a channel they can go to uh, to open up talks. And right now, uh, I, I think yeah. they feel like every time they try to do it, it gets shut down. And, Bill, it seems like when it comes to the U.S. and its allies, they've moderated the tone a little bit when it comes to China, right? Decoupling to now de-risking. For Beijing, though, that sounds like all the same to them. Is there really a difference? Well, yeah, you're right. From the Chinese perspective, it's all semantics. I think the U.S. and its allies are trying to find a way to say, listen, we, uh, we want to keep trade with China. We want to keep, uh, we want to keep doing business with China. But we don't, want to, uh, put, uh, we don't want to facilitate risk to our national security. China doesn't see it that way. They see, the, they see the West as ganging up on preventing them from having access to some of these uh, high-technology computer chips and other things. They think it's uh, just a matter of rephrasing that really isn't a substantive change. And they've rejected that, mm. that talk of uh, de-risking.